But thank you for holding this very important hearing uh, and giving me the opportunity to discuss my bill, H.R. 271, the Creating Options for Veterans Expedited Recovery Act, the COVER Act. Statistics show that one in five veterans who serve in Iraq and Afghanistan have been diagnosed with the post-traumatic uh, stress. Now we must responsibly ask ourselves, are we doing enough when it comes to addressing mental health in our veterans' population? I don't think so. Recent data has shown that every day in this country, approximately 18 to 22 veterans take their own lives. This statistic answers the question I posed earlier. It is obviously more, uh, Mr. Chairman, more needs to be done, in my opinion. That's why I introduced the COVER Act in, uh, in the 114th Congress. The COVER Act will establish a commission to examine the Department of Veterans Affairs current evidence-based therapy treatment model for treating mental illness among veterans. It will also analyze the potential benefits of incorporating complementary alternative treatments available within our communities. The duties of the commission uh, designated under the COVER Act include conducting a patient-centered survey within each veteran integrated service network. The survey will examine several different factors related to the preferences and experiences of veterans when they have dealt with the Department of Veterans Affairs. Instead of presuming to know what is best for veterans, we should just ask the veteran. It's as simple as that. Then we can work with veterans on finding the right solution that best fits their own unique needs. Not one size fits all. The scope of the survey will include the experience of a veteran when seeking med uh, medical uh, assistance within the Department of Veterans Affairs, the experience of veterans with the non-VA medical facilities and health professionals for treating mental health illnesses, the preferences of a veteran on available treatments for mental health and which they believe uh, to be most effective, the prevalence of prescribing prescription drugs within the VA as remedies for treating mental illnesses, uh, and uh, outreach efforts by the VA Secretary on available benefits and treatments. Additionally, the Commission will be tasked with examining the available research on complementary alternative treatments for mental health. Then the Commission will identify what benefits could be attained with the inclusion of such treatments for our veterans seeking care at the VA. Some of the alternative therapies include, among others, of course, accelerated resolution therapy, music therapy, yoga, acupuncture, acupuncture therapy, meditation, outdoor sports therapy, and training and care for service dogs. Finally, the Commission will study the potential increase in health claims for mental health issues uh, for veterans returning from the most recent theaters of war. We must ensure that the VA is prepared with the necessary resources and infrastructure to handle the increase in those utilizing their earned benefits to address the mental and physical ailments incurred from military service. Once the Commission has successfully completed their duties, a final report will be issued. Its recommendations and findings will be made available based on the analysis of the patient-centered survey alternative treatments, and evidence-based therapies. The Commission will also be responsible for creating a plan to implement those findings in a feasible, timely, and cost-effective manner. Last Congress, I was very pleased that this subcommittee considered the COVER Act and a legislative hearing. At this hearing, all the VSOs and organizations testified and have supported the COVER Act. I want to thank all, all again, all of you, really, for your support through your testimonies given today. In this year's draft, I was also pleased to incorporate the recommendations offered by the uh, Vietnam Veterans of America. They suggested that appointees on the Commission must not have proprietary financial or any other conflicting interests in any of the treatment considered, and I think that's very reasonable and I appreciate their recommendations. In closing, we have the support from veterans and the organizations that work closely with them. And it is clear that there is a need to do more 
and uh, and that that's what we need to do. We need to do more for our true American heroes. We have that responsibility. We have that duty. The question now is this: What do we intend to do about it? We definitely have to act on this bill, and I really appreciate, Mr. Chairman, uh, you agendaing this bill uh, today, and, and I'd love to see it marked up very soon. With that, I urge my colleagues again to support this bill and co-sponsor this bill. Let's get this done for our heroes. Thank you.